Well, hello everyone, here with another LEGO Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday, and this one's on what you're looking at, the Ewok Attack, and also Bala Naboo from 2011. Yeah, 2011, of course. So, from the man for the manual entry I have for Ewok Attack, we have the same exact Captain Rex border that we've been seeing since summer 2010, carried on to here, and then picture of the set with everything going on in action and uh, set number 7956 and on the back add for the online survey then add for Lego club and then all the features of the set and then advertisement for most of the other sets from the time of which and that one of which Expect for a future throwback Thursday, of course. And then all the pieces that come with it, with the set, which is actually two pages. And then last building steps. <clears throat> so, first off, for the mini things that come with Balan Boo. We would have a regular Bal Droid, which you get eight of in the set, and also a Bal Droid leader so with the usual blue torso piece. But however, of which same as they come in many sets, but of which still good to get for army building. And then next we have Jar Jar Binks and Jar Jar Binks, of which, and of course this is which first time the a uh, headpiece of which was updated for this decade, the 2010s, of course. But although everything of him did also come in the AAT set uh, a few years later, 2015, and of course holding the blue cylinders, or in this case used as electro orbs that the Gungans used to hurt the droids with, and then next to which have a Gungan warrior. Which wielding an electro spear and of course headpiece, same as Jar Jar Binks's, but of course with a uh, war mask on top and torso printing, very good for that. And of course, has a uh, hollow force field sphere or shield on the course. And then on the back sides, each of them, and just nothing for the bow droids. But for the Gungans, do have some bit of back torso printing and also good printing on the flaps of their or ear flaps of their head pieces. But yeah, so that's about it with this selection. And now on to the uh, mini things that came with Ewok Attack. First, have an Imperial Scout Trooper, which did come in a couple other sets at the time, but however, it would be usual with the plain black headpiece and with the hollow mask bit, which that we've been seeing for since like uh, 2004 or 5, it carried on to here, at least until they eventually updated it in the later part of the decade. But yeah, and of course, wielding the smallish blaster there. And in the center, we which do have a uh, low gray. We have low gray the Ewok, which did also come in the uh, Ewok attack or Ewok village set. But however, the holding a brown uh, castle spear here. And of course, as for the face printing and also the sculpting for the head body piece, which done really goodly. And of course, kind of like other Ewoks, but. However, it does have this little skull like bit on top of it, which is kind of interesting and a lot different to have. But yeah. And then next to which we have a Tuckat. Yeah, Tuckat, the Ewok. Which is the only one exclusive to this set. And of course, being with the black fur piece, but the, where is the head uh, body part, of which kind of similar to that of Wicket and all. Well, with the similar looking uh, sculpting to it, but 
Greek colored in black and dark green, and of course with a feather part on printed on the side, of course. But as for the back torso printing, and well, not at all any for the scalp trooper, but also to get some plenty good uh, back detailing for both Ewoks, which. And also, I'm kind of puzzled why Tuckat wasn't included with the Ewok Village set, although could have worked out there anyways. Um, and also, haven't seen these set two in sets in a while, but maybe they will eventually. What not? Wonder if they could ever reappear down the line. But well, who knows? But yeah. First off, for the builds is one that for the Bow and the Boop build, which as he is pretty much another battle droid carrier, but at least a lot bigger than the 2001 one, and also kind of similar to the 2015 uh, battle droid carrier set, to which, but of course with some different detailing to that than that one, like for the front part of which, which has few vent pieces and also a couple of random spike pieces, not sure why, but and also a single headlight kind of part to it. And of course a large uh, curve slope going upwards with a bow droid pilot or leader kind of there. And also these castle windows, which is to separate it from the other one of which but like underneath it all are these like uh, no foot pieces enough for it to stand off the uh, surface any surface a bit and also kind of a little open section that has a few studs in there but on the sides of which does see pretty much a few uh, long wedge slopes well smooth slopes and also a few battle droid head pieces is acting as like rebuilding and all but as for this upper section which does have which has a so a dish piece on front and also these curved bits to it and a couple of uh, lightsaber bar pieces for that. and also a little thing to do with and as for the battle droids on here just fold up down like that and stick them on the studs and also a little jumper to put the blaster on to oh, and then they're ready to get carried on whereas for the one that was out in 2015 it had a lot of it had snot technique with the bunch of curb slopes around it and although this kind of design does work out as much well since with the straight arm battle droids can like clip onto the you know, bar pieces to you know hang on the sides, but yeah. As for the back side, and you wonder what that clip part for, which I'll show in a second, but just kind of barren from there. It basically can like unclip this part and pull it off, and then a large empty bay for that, and it's its own separate thing. And you of course, with the with complete symmetry with the two clip pieces, and you can like slide on like so. So quite good feature for that. That's about it there. And first for the builds that comes for the Ewok attack set is this little general speeder bike, which is kind of similar to what we've had with some previous speeder bike builds. Or like the Snowtrooper Battle Pack set the year prior, where it has this like a uh, trike kind of piece in the back, and the rest is all brick built. But at least they did fade away from that with the uh, 2013 MBS Ewok Village set, and that, and of course still using a uh, street sign pieces there. And there's enough space to fit your Scout Trooper onto and. Also, to clip onto the handlebar piece and there. And still from the back side, the classic backpack piece as well. But yeah. And that's about it with the speeder bike there. And now onto the main field of Ewok Attack, which is 
pretty much another tree of Endor. But however, in this case, it would you see kind of a smallish one. But however, this how unlike with most Lego tree piece sets, this does have plenty of functions to behold. Because so from top to bottom it does have a few of one big dark green plate here and I'll say a couple of brown plates and it's down below and also this little leaf piece there and if you wonder what this plate and tile part is for is for you to where you can on one side push it and let it ram the scout trooper with and if you wonder what those hinge parts are for, which I'll go over soon or later. And on this one side, I have a little ladder piece that goes up to this top platform part. And also do have a little ugly rock piece in there where if you can like swing that open and then have a little spot to uh, hide your Ewoks into. And also, if you wonder what that gray part is for, well, it's for a flip fire missile, as you can just push in and watch it off like so. Which we did at one point see in one of the Hobbit sets a couple years later. So kind of randomly there, but whatever. As for this top section, which has this like plank with a or a plate with a leaf leaf piece on there, since of course probably representing a little plank of wood on there. But the feature is if you pull on this and these little technic bits fall right off for that. Like it's there are a couple of logs that just fell off. And on this side of which a traditional branch piece and also another or a bush piece kind of sticking upwards. Another side regular branch and also traditional uh, arch piece with a, a leaf piece on top, of course. And also, you get one of the classic uh, castle catapult pieces, that, which in this case kind of swivels around, and, and of course, like most of it, and of course, traditionally, you can like tap on it and can fling the cylinder out like so. And do get a couple others around as well. So of course, plenty of good functions for this one, despite being just a tree. And so, let me get everything. is I think these of which are uh, really good and also quite really good uh, small sets for the time since both of which were like 20 to 25 dollars at the time so but luckily as for Ewok attack which you get one exclusive Ewok uh, set of which but also this would great to have alongside the uh, Battle of Endor set from 2009 and also the Great big UCS Ewok Village set or MBS Ewok Village set from 2013. So for, it's great to have alongside those two. And as for Battle Droid Carrier, it's a good thing that, that it has a lot of battle droids and of course something. And of course, it, which great to have for army building, even though, well, both it and also in Gungan Warriors as well. But although. Would have been nice if it was an extra Gunga Warrior instead of Jar Jar Binks. Thanks for that. But whatever. Or maybe even could have also thrown in a Droidica as well. But maybe that would have been a little bit much. Since Droidicas are multiple piece figures, of course. And also with Ewok Attack, which do you think we could have at least gotten an extra Ewok? 
figure or for it or maybe make give it a couple more branches on the tree but whatever but as for price to piece ratio on both of these sets are quite good for how they are and of course and despite being uh, both uh, army build well an army builder and add-on to something they also work out as good parts packs of like dark of dark brown and darkish tan of course and so now if any of you still have these sets from back in the day well I hope you had some good memories of them and for those of you who have it and still have access of looking to get these sets then I'd say definitely pick them up eBay Bricklink Macari whatever and that's about it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching